Hey everyone, welcome back. Now, if you recall, or simply missed last episode, we have begun work on the forge. So, a quick little explanation of what to expect when this building's finished is a in-between, um, like between this house and the other house. It might even be two stories, I'm not sure yet. But I know it's going to be tall, followed by an overhang over here that will have all the tools and some additional decorations, as well as some additional things such as chests, crafting tables, furnaces, item frames, and some other fun stuff to enhance the look of the forge. But one thing that I would like to quickly do is, as per suggested by one of the audience members, I'm going to be putting trapdoors over the glowstone because um, the suggestion was made and I actually like that um, idea of having the trapdoors over it. The problem being is that there's no trapdoors that have um, the holes, so we're going to do some test cases. The first one is going to be, actually let's see if we have any that are available right now, just from the wood storage. We're going to be trying several different trapdoors and seeing how they look. So the first one we're going to get some, actually I don't think we're going to need dark oak. Because we know in general that it's not going to look right. We don't have any spruce, but we do have some birch. So I know for a fact, actually birch is going to look terrible, so let's not do birch. So, let's, uh, I wonder if, hmm. Because the trapdoors have a very, very different look and appeal to them when they're over them. Let's do a sample. Samples never hurt. So we're going to take two trapdoors here. We're going to go all the way down to the end. Actually, we're going to put them right here. Hmm. My question is, how well does that allow light to go through it? But I am digging it. I do like that effect. I wish there was a better way to tell for how much light pollution it lets out. Hmm, I think it should be fine if I just go and cover all of them. Although, if we're going to do it, though, we have to have the direction facing and flowing with the uh, planks. So, spruce might work. It definitely blends with the color, but I don't know if I want it to blend with the color. I might want it to be a little darker for accents. So let's try doing some dark oak. And then we're also going to do some oak as well. Actually, no, because I already know oak can look really bad on that. So let's try birch out too. And let's see which one looks the best. Okay, birch is not going to work right off the bat. I thought birch had holes in it, but I guess it doesn't. Dark oak will work perfectly, I think. Let's go cover some more of them real fast and see how that looks. Um, I'm going to need to cut this tree down. There's probably better ways to cut down the tree now that I think about it that don't allow me replacing blocks and breaking them again. If I probably did like a spiral staircase up that'd be probably the best one way to do it. But 
until then, let's go and harvest a lot of this. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't know how well the trapdoor will look, but we're going to find out. So, in exactly one minute, we're going to have to come back out here. And, oh, that's not good. There we go. And the other's up there. Nope, we're good. So, no matter what, we need to make sure that we have at least four uh, dark oak saplings when all that decays. So... We'll go and do a um, second check here in a little bit. I think I do have some laying about inside of the home that I can always check on later. Um, do I actually like the look of that? I think I'm going to need more examples before I can officially decide. So we're going to go and we're going to cover out all of these ones here. And see how that looks. Mm. I don't know. I want to do the trapdoors, but I think I'm going to wait until I have another wood source and play with them and see what all my options are. Because something about the uh, the dark oak just doesn't doesn't sync with me, and the spruce just kind of repeats the pattern, and I'm not sure if I want that. Huh. Well. Let's just go and throw some of the stuff back into the. Uh, oh, we gotta go check on the saplings. Even though we have plenty up there, it's still a good idea just to make sure that it's all set and secure for future um, uh, storage and just kind of making sure that the uh, number of saplings doesn't diminish too quickly. Because after all, this is our only source of dark wood that's conveniently accessible. And it would be, in fact, a real shame if we were to lose a set of four. So we better hope that those leaves decay and produce one. Because if they don't, then that's going to suck. Meanwhile, we have this to work on. So, I don't, I think it's going to be made entirely of stone with not a lot of wood blocks um, on the in-between. Because it is a forge and it is susceptible to a fire, I think that it would make sense logically to have the trim blocks be wood. And then have, so like for example, this one, the trim blocks are stone um, and the wood is the main block. So, I think in that one, because, you know, in all these buildings, the wood is the main block and the stone is the trim. I think the found, like, we're going to have a wood trim with a stone foundation, so that way it actually works. And I think I'm going to stagger stone and cobble. But the order that I'm going to do it in is still unknown. Because if I do it like that, that makes the foundation look weak. But if I do it the other way... That makes the upper part. Mm. Huh. I think we're going to have to do it this way. Yeah, I like that. Nothing like getting uh, emails for your upcoming classes. You know, a week in advance. That's always great. 
Crap, I gotta, I gotta, really gotta get a, get going on the project, because I got some things I need to finish before I can start recording, because I haven't been able to yet due to time restraints, and I'm kind of running out of time here. Hmm. Actually... Let's just do a quick little test there. Thankfully, wood is one of the most abundant materials that we have. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna have these parts here be spruce, and we'll leave the other parts undone. We're gonna see which one grows on me. I like the trap doors because I don't like the the occasional hiccups in the running. That might throw me for a loop there. But if it grows on me, then I'll end up doing it globally. So it is to be decided. Let's see, this is being uploaded after the Skyrim episode. If you don't watch the Skyrim series or you haven't started it yet, um, the previous episode was a complete train wreck. Um, I got my tail end handed to me by a bunch of skeevers that were venom fang. I didn't realize it, so they poisoned me and then they gave me a disease and then I died. So, and I wasn't really paying attention. I thought they were easy skeevers, so I was just kind of like, you know, roasting them a fire, but. Turns out their health wasn't going down as fast as I thought it was. And then, to uh, follow up with that and follow the fact that, you know, I'm terrible at the game. After I finally got the quest done, um, I, uh, I found a copy of pretty much Skyrim fanfiction. And read it. So, if you ever want to hear me uh, try to seriously read... Um, really creepy Skyrim fanfiction, and it's that one. So, for those of you who don't know, um, I basically tried reading the, uh, I don't even want to say it, but I had to read a, not I had to, but I chose to read a copy of the, uh, the Lusty Argonian Maid, um, for everyone's, uh, sweet ears to hear. So, if you ever wanted a reason to, um, I don't even know how I'm going to finish that sentence, to be honest. If you ever wanted a reason to be even further disappointed in me, well, I've just given you the golden ticket. So. Alright, we need more stone brick. And to do that, we need more smooth stone. And to get more smooth stone, we need to cut cobblestone. We cut cobblestone, we gotta put it in furnaces. Let's go check my furnaces and see if we have anything in there. I don't know if those are actually technically triggers, me talking like that. But, you know, if it is, then cool. If not, oops. So, we're going to go and we're just going to draw out the uh, general foundation here. We're going to leave the doorway blocks um, unhinged so that way we can actually get access to the upper layers. Alright, we're going to stagger it like stairs. Okay. That actually is going to work. That is going to work for the building, I think. We need window, we need wood trimmings though. So we're going to get our spruce logs here and we're going to do no windows on this side. There's actually going to be a doorway, right? Let's see. We're going to figure out what the doorway is going to go after construction. We're going to have a big old window on this side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
Actually, let's actually count them properly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine. Did I miscount? This has four, and that one has three. I guess I'm not as good as a counter as I thought I was. Oh well, easy fix. All right, we're gonna do one, two, one, two, and let's go get our glass panes. <sighs> Do, do, do. Yeah, no glass pane. Ba, ba, do, do. I used all of it, that's right. Well, darn. I was gonna make some uh, white glass for the, um... Oh, no, there it is, up there. I'm an idiot. Well, obviously. Okay, I actually don't know how to make a uh, stained glass. Ah, uh, and let me guess. I have to start a glass block with it. Of course. Huh. Um, shoot, I don't have enough, uh... Well, I guess we're gonna need more some, some sand. So... Let's go get us some sand. 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 So, the second project that I mentioned a while back is going to be probably pushed back until possibly spring or early summer, just because I, I don't want to, um, if I'm going to end up doing this, I want it to be done right. Um, and if it means that my channel needs to have delayed growth, then so be it. Because this is, if I do this right, it's going to be huge, but I have to do it right. So I would rather push out, push out something that's, you know, actually means something to me and, you know, took a lot of time and effort rather than push out something that was just sort of a quick little doohickey thing and whatever. So... Um, alongside gaming and other stuff, there might be some fun stuff showing up on the channel eventually. So, we'll find out. Um, but we'll find out. Because a lot of this is hypothetical. Um, I really need, a, like, an actual, like, PC. Because I've been using my laptop 
for all of this. And I have to turn the fans off in order to record, and that's really taken a hit on the laptop. So, I'm really far from home, and I'm going to go get sand, so I don't know what's going on here. So it looks like that my greatest fears are coming to fruition, where I won't finish the uh, the forge anytime soon. But what I'm actually probably going to end up doing is really pushing the envelope on the next few episodes to the hour markers in order to get it finished. So it might end up going down to that. So we don't need a lot of sand, just enough to get the job done. So, let's see, I at least want a stack, I think. Sixty-two. Sixty-four. Alright, now begins the journey home. As the sun sets. Which is most unfortunate. Yep, I'm gonna die. I went far too far. So, I'm gonna lose all my stuff and um, then have to find it. So, I know that I'm 800 paces out. I don't know. Okay, so there's the tundra fields. Um, I think after this, it's another 200 blocks or so. Oh, that's kind of cool, that little mist effect up there. That's really cool, actually. I like that. That's not going to be a uh, thumbnail, but um, I'm definitely a huge fan of that misty effect over there. And wow, I literally cannot see anything. <sighs> okay, so... Almost there. Whoa. That is awesome. I don't like you to appreciate, 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 I don't, language. I really don't get to appreciate the moon that often. Is it often or often? You know what? English is a terrible language. It's like three languages in a trench coat. I think that was a meme. It's like Latin. French and German all pushed together in Greek and ugh, it's just terrible. All right, well we made it back. And we got a spider problem. Ah, but it's solved. It is kind of funny to think how far I've come in this series, though, since I've started, all things considered. I mean, it's hard to believe that in episode 6 we were setting up this little oasis area. Then we went mining and collecting resources. Episode 15, we finally started the house and it was finished in episode 22. Episode, I think, 8 through 12, we were working on this perhaps. Um, episode, up until I think 29, I was working on this. Episodes 32 to now, I think, or 35, and then there's this. So, it's just fun to think about all the little things that have gone into working on this. And it's all thanks to you guys just sticking around and watching the content. So, thank you for that. Now, part of me is wondering if maybe in the distant future I'll have like, you know, a thousand subscribers and y'all will be watching this in the background or whatever and um, be like subscriber, I don't know, 1,112 
it's very specific, but whatever. So I just wanted to thank you um, for, uh, you know, sticking with me. It means a lot to me. So, because I'm just a poor boy from a poor family, he's just a poor I just broke out into a Queen song there. Appreciate me. Oh, that is infuriating on so many levels. Hey guys, let's make a crafting recipe that takes six blocks but then have its counterpart take eight blocks so they have to find a common divider of 24 in order to properly use this feature one and one and one is three plus nine so all of this work just to put in a freaking white Oh well, it'll look nice and awesome when it's done. So, I don't know why I'm putting so much effort into building so many little houses. I think it's because I'm trying to practice and keep myself preoccupied until out of the time actually comes when... Um... I actually want to build a real house. Because I don't know if I've said this before, but none of this is permanent, and I actually plan to have a lot of it replaced in the, ne in the near future and move on to somewhere else and um, build again. So that way I can keep, um, uh, keep content going. Because, yeah... Until, of course, Minecraft gets replaced by something like Hytale. So, I'm a little excited for Hytale to come out, because I think that I'll definitely be playing that on the channel and seeing how it turns out. So now we need to think of the top layer, and I'm actually not sure what a good top layer will be. I was actually thinking of doing a spruce log top layer. Um, but I would need more spruce logs in order to see how that looks. Oh, come on. So we're going to go and just collect a bunch of spruce wood, and then... There we go. I'm a little curious, actually, as to how I'm going to... I'll probably use uh, tracks. I think once one point... Um, let's see. I think every five seasons, or every 100 episodes, um, I'll move to a new area. <laughs> so, pretty much once a year, I guess. Oh, that is a disgusting thought. So, and then maybe once I actually start getting, um more followers and it becomes um worth it to spend more than 30 minutes on video editing i could spend a couple hours editing down two hours of footage into a nice consumable 30 minutes of content where i make a lot of magical progress on something but i don't know <sighs> Ah, oh, there we go. Cool. Very cool.
Uh, I don't know if this is going to be good, another good idea or not, or if that's going to be stupid doing it on the exterior like that. So maybe I'll, maybe not. I'll do it. Maybe, maybe we'll do park. Hmm. I don't know. I might end up actually just playing with this um, in my free time here. So that way I stop wasting so much time and I can actually get this pushed out in time. But let's go get the glass done real fast. Wow. I don't want to do all that as white glass. I just want. Look at that, I'm really good at math. Not really. Well, I mean, kind of. And I have my regrets immediately about having white glass, but we'll see. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe. Thankfully, it's just glass. I can easily replace it. Ugh, I, don't, I don't like that at all. But I'm gonna wait until the building's finished and let it grow on me and see how it looks. I end up replacing with gray glass. So, well, I'm gonna probably cut this episode short here so that way I can record the next Subnautica episode and then get to bed at a decent time. So, yeah. All right, well, special thank you to my Tingle supporters because you two have been awesome. There's only two of you right now, but... That may or may not increase or decrease or shoot up or shoot down in the near future, so whatever. But for now, um, thank you to the two of you for uh, supporting my content. And of course, to the rest of you for actually watching my video and giving me the support, the, kind, the nice words, the nice comments. Um, <laughs> for watching my videos, for giving me likes and whatnot. And yeah, I, I really appreciate that. So thank you to all of you. And I hope that all of you enjoyed this video for those of you who made it this far. And have a fantastic...